Hey, Pharaoh, it's Joe Person here with The Athletic. Uh, good to see you. I'm wondering uh, just how this first week or two of camp has been and kind of just your vibe about being back in the Carolinas. Uh, it's been going well. Uh, you know, it's the camp life, so you know, everything's, you know, full of speed, full go, you know, uh, prepping for the season. You know, usually have preseason games right now, but so, um, you know, it's cool just to get some, you know, good full speed reps out there. So everything's going well. Um, good mesh with the team and um, it's, it feels good to be back home um, that you mentioned earlier, um, back home in North Carolina uh, in, front of, in front of my and family and friends that, you know, that grew up watching me even in South Carolina. So uh, it feels great to be back home. Hey, Farrell, Elena Getzenberg with the Charlotte Observer. I was wondering, kind of going off that, was what was your reaction to kind of learning that Carolina was interested and, in, you know, being able to come back here? Um, yeah, it was great going through that whole process of, you know, the, the free agency thing and um, my agents talked to me about Carolina, you know, I kind of like kind of got excited and, um, you know, it was an opportunity, you know, that I wanted to take advantage of being back home, you know, where my family could see me. Um, like I said, I was at South Carolina and then I went to the West Coast straight out of college. So I've been over there the last four years. So um, it was great to be back home and, and uh, trying to put on for the, for the home city uh, this year. Uh, hey, Farrell, this is uh, Miles Simmons from Panthers.com. Uh, just wondering, yeah, good to see you too. Uh, <laughs> wondering, what, how do you feel about, um, you know, being a returner now, especially considering the changes that have gone up into effect over the last couple of years? And how did that affect you um, over the last couple of years, especially in kicks? Um, I mean, by now, I'm, I kind of got adjusted to it with the whole the, the, the kick. You, I guess you're some of the kickoff return situation with the wedges and the, the kickoff team not be able to run. Um, honestly, it doesn't really change anything. You know, I kind of got used to it by now for the last two years. So, um, no, if anything, I kind of feel like it gives the kickoff return uh, team an advantage, being that those guys on kickoff team are uh, starting from a standstill position, running full speed. So, um, you know, that's something we're working every day, though, you know, trying to find that mesh and the timing of everything being that we have no, you know, full, you know, full speed games, you know, and other teams coming down at it. So um, as of right now, you know, it's going well and, and time is good. And I don't think it's really changed anything. Farrell, Farrell, uh, Jason Huber, WFNZ. Panthers have struggled to find some consistent uh, kick return game the last two years. For those, you know, coming in and just being a few years removed from, you know, being a pro bowler, what, what are you hoping to bring to this Carolina team at the, the kick returning? Oh, um, just explosive plays, man. Just, you know, get the ball back to the offense, you know, whether it be a fair catch or a big 20-yard game, 50-yard game, touchdown, you know, just, you know, try and make explosive plays every time, you know, punt return and kick return, you know, um, you know, have those guys, you know, trust me back there, you know, everybody do their job and, you know, and we come together as one, you know, one special unit on that special team unit and just hope to make a lot of plays this year. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to it and I'm excited about it. Hey, Farrell, uh, Jonathan Alexander uh, with Shot Observer. Hope you're doing well. I'm at it. Two questions, one, two quick ones. Um, did you did you grow up with Kai Bowman? And also, um, you know, I guess what's it like to, you know, be back with the home team? Yeah, Kai, Kai Bowman, that's my that's my little man. Um, you know, we both went to Havelock, uh, Havelock High School together. He's from Havelock, North Carolina. So, um that's my little man. He, he out there in Golden State playing basketball right now, so I'm happy for him. So, um, so I hope he's doing well out there. And then, um, yeah, back like you said, back home in North Carolina, it feels great. Um, like I mentioned earlier, just being back home, being able to play around, you know, the family and friends that grew up watching me play. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, they can come to the games if if, if they allow it. But um, it'll be fun to be back home playing for the home team. Hey, favorite David Dean with ESPN.com. Uh, good to finally meet you here uh you mentioned basketball uh I, I look at your wiki page and it's got a picture of you wearing a basketball uniform playing basketball on there instead of football so how, was there ever a choice for that for you or talk about that a little bit no 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 it was never no choice between football and basketball for me uh basketball was probably like the last sport I played growing up I only played it because I was you know just good at it being as an athlete but um it was football all the way for me I don't know where that picture came from or what you were referring to but I don't, I don't play no basketball like that hey Ferris Jason Brown with Spectrum News 1 in Charlotte um early in my career I, I was over in that part of the state in Havelock and covered that team and so I know from a 
from a pro football standpoint, there can sort of be uh, split allegiances. Some are Panthers, some are for Washington. For you growing up, were you a Panthers fan? And this is, was this a team growing up that you ultimately would have loved to have played for? Nah, honestly, nah. I, I was never a Panthers fan growing up. I mean, growing up, I was honestly a, a fan of a lot of players. I was just, you know, like a lot of players growing up. I mean, I always had, you know, the dreams and, you know, hopes of playing in the NFL. But, I mean, never, like, thought. I said maybe I'll, hopefully I get to play for the Panthers. I just wanted to play in the NFL. But, um, you know, that was kind of it about that. If anything, I was a Cowboys fan growing up. I mean, I kind of got on that bandwagon when I was younger. But other than that, I just – I just knew I wanted to play in the NFL no matter what team it was. <laughs> hey, Farrell, I think a lot of us just sort of uh, are, are kind of penciling or assuming you'll be the start kick and punt returner. In your mind, is, is that your feeling too? And, and, and either way, who do you think some of your best competition is for that? Um. I mean, honestly, I mean, that's everybody's, you know, goal to become the starter at whatever position, you know, coach puts them at. So, you know, yeah, absolutely. I want to be the starter at punt return, kick return. But, you know, everything's, you know, it's a, it's the preseason camp. So everything's written in paper right now, in a pencil right now. So you never know. So, you know, I'm out there right now just competing. Other guys are competing, trying to get that, that starting spot. And, you know, um, we'll see week one, you know, who coach wants back there. Hey, Farrah, Jason Weber again. Uh, how frustrating – Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go, Jason first, then Miles. Okay, uh, Farrell, how frustrating has it been the last few years since you had, the, you know, your really good season, and then going through those injuries and just trying to get back to to where you were? Um, it's been yeah, it's been frust frustrating. You know, I think about it sometimes. You know, coming off that second year, um, that second year I did really well, and then that third season, the first game I had hurt my ankle and was out ten weeks, and then my career kind of, you know, got tossed in there, tangled up a little bit, you know, got back on my feet. So, um, you know, I get that question a lot, just, you know, just from people that, you know, see me out or something. But, you know, absolutely, I'm trying to uh, get back to that form. And I, I know I can get back to that form of being the, the pro bowl, returning to all pro type of player, returning punts and kicks. So, um, you know, absolutely, that's the goal for this year um, if I am doing that job. I know that you've, you know, mostly contributed in your career as a returner, but you did get to play a little bit more wide receiver last year. How much do you want to be known as a wide receiving threat? Yeah, I mean, as a wide receiver, anybody, you know, in the wide receiver room, you know, they want to go into the, that, that team saying, yeah, I want to play wide receiver, I want to make plays, you know, I want to be in on, you know, one through third down. So, I mean, punt returning and kick return is fun, don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a receiver, you know, first. And, you know, punch, I keep trying to do something I'm good at and I can do and I can help the team doing that. But, you know, every obviously I do want to be on the field as a receiver, making plays, helping the team get up and down the field. And, you know, and when that opportunity comes, um, you know, I'll just take advantage of it whenever that time presents itself. Hey, Pharaoh, um, it's Josh from the Riot Report. Um, I think you were doing some off-season work with Will Greer and, and DJ Moore. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about that and how that came about and, and maybe how that helped with your uh, development this off-season. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, in the off-season, you know, I live in Charlotte anyway. So, the past two off-seasons, I've been in Charlotte. So, you know, obviously I signed in Carolina this year, so I was already in Charlotte. So, um, I guess Coach hit up Will. I know Will's from Charlotte, too. Told him I signed, and then me and Will got together um, at a local high school, and, and DJ was already in Charlotte too. So um, we just linked up, got each other's numbers, and we just started throwing there. Um, maybe a couple weeks after I had signed, or whatever it may have been, but you know um, that was just a get to know each other type of uh, meeting. And through there, we just kept you know throwing two or three times a week just to you know build that chemistry and, and camaraderie with those guys. Anything else? Hey, it's, um Great. Uh, hey, Fer, it's Vincent from the Riot Report. Um, I think you went up against TJ Green a tiny bit back in 2017 when with you were the Rams against the Colts. Um, I was wondering if you had any memories of that experience and, and what you thought of what you've seen from him so far in camp. Uh, 2017, um, I don't, honestly, I don't really remember. I know TJ Green from, he played at Clemson, so I actually remember him back from 13 through 16 in college. We played. He played at Clemson, so that was our rivalry at South Carolina, so I remember in college a lot more, um, but in 2017, I, I couldn't tell you if I remember much about him when he played for the Colts, to be honest. Hey, 